CLEAR is the Collaborative Laboratories for Environmental Analysis and Remediation. We're a group of scientists and engineers who've come together with a distinct set of expertise to develop novel analytical strategies and remediation techniques for studying the environmental impact of industrial processes. I think that folks should care about what we're doing because we're at the forefront of one of the most socially relevant, highly charged issues of the 21st century. Currently we are working uh, to assess the environmental impacts associated with unconventional oil and gas extraction. We have developed a unique set of analytical methods informed by best practices from standardized methods that are used regularly by government and regulatory agencies. We collect samples of groundwater from around Texas and we bring these into laboratory to understand uh, whether or not there are some constituents in that water that should not be there. Uh, scientifically, it's fertile ground for us to go and, and do real solid science and at the same time make an impact on the environment and on the people that live in this region. So we think that's a really important role to fill. Groundwater quality um, is incredibly important because it's the lifeblood of people's, of, of people's ranches, their agricultural operations. Uh, there aren't too many aspects of our daily life in Texas where we don't require um, groundwater, and good groundwater for that matter. This is a diminishing resource and it is used by everybody for everything. Uh, the Texas population is growing by leaps and bounds and is projected to double by 2050. If we don't take care of the water that we have now, we're going to run out of water. Uh, Texas has, for many years, enjoyed the benefits of oil extraction and mining, but only in the past 10 years have we really understood that this is notion of unconventional oil and, or gas or natural gas extraction, particularly in the Barnett Shale here in the North Texas, is, is occurring within and around our communities. We are developing the most comprehensive analytical testing suite to assess groundwater quality and provide information for the public that they can then use to understand whether there is something to worry about or not. I'm out in the fields working with landowners, well owners, ranchers, and you get this tremendously deep, um, visceral, uh, emotional connection with these people and you understand how unbelievably important this research is to them. The risks associated with hydraulic fracturing are not the only concern. We have to also be concerned with, you know, are these wells being cased properly? Are best practices being followed? So we have to really consider the, the whole process of unconventional oil and gas extraction. I think it, it's, it's not right to be honing in specifically on the term of hydraulic fracturing as this being just one component of a, a much larger process that can, as a whole, potentially have some environmental impacts. We'd like to be able to develop these different recycling technologies and propagate those in collaboration with different corporations who are helping to develop recycling technologies so that we can make this a more sustainable process. Everybody always wants to understand what your stance is on oil and gas extraction. As a scientist, it is our mission to remain neutral and to be completely objective in understanding the science associated with the process and how that might affect our environment. We formed CLEAR specifically to gather a group of like-minded individuals and entities that can responsibly assess these effects and report that information to the public so that they can make informed decisions. Uh, the reason that we got into this research field is because there's absolutely no data on this, this topic. Again, it's a, uh, a debate that's fueled primarily by emotion and public opinion and what you see in the media, and it's relatively devoid of concrete scientific information. We really want to be able to provide some unbiased, objective information uh, based on advanced analytical chemistry techniques to assess that groundwater quality. To do so, we're going to need to be able to have more funding. We've expanded our efforts and we've done as much as we can with quite a little bit of support that we certainly appreciate from the university. But we need a, we need a larger pool of funding to be able to continue to do this, not just in Texas, but to take our expertise nationwide and even worldwide. We're really trying to remain neutral in this stance, but we need the resources to carry out the work. If we can't pursue typical government funding, because in many cases it doesn't exist, 
or we can't approach oil and gas or, or extreme environmental uh, groups because of the bias that might place on our work. We really need the support of the individuals, the corporations that really just want to understand the, the impact of this process.